Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome, or welcome back, to my crochet channel. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you how to make our lovely, lovey blanket. It is a small blanket. It measures approximately 18 by 18 inches. But if you want to make it bigger or smaller, all the information for the multiples and measurements are on that blog that I always put with the pattern underneath the video. Now you'll recognize this little stuffy. It is a lovey stuffy heart that we did for our Friday fun day. And I thought it would be perfect to add to this blanket. And you can just attach that if you want to, or you can, um, you know, just give it with it as a gift, as a special little toy. And you can find that pattern link also down in the notes underneath this video. But what we're going to be making today is this beautiful levy blanket. pattern. It's not intended really to be a blanket blanket, but of course you can make it that way again by adjusting those counts and things. Um, but this one is intended to be a lovey blanket, one that you can give to your kids maybe in the car or just if they're having a bad day or maybe you need a little huggy blanket. <laughs> it's super cute and super easy. And it's also a perfect shower gift or last minute baby gift or even just a last minute gift for a child. It's super easy to make. And I love the yarn that I used for this. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. All right. So if you want to make our lovey blanket, you can find the pattern for the lovey stuffy heart down in the notes underneath this video. That link is there. And then you can also find the written pattern with pictures for our lovey blanket down in the notes also in that description box. So both the links are there. And then, of course, we're going to demonstrate how to make this blanket today. To make this lovey blanket, I used one of these Ogo Super Saver in the pastel or baby rainbow. Now, this is a medium weight number four yarn. But when I started working with it, I realized that this was a little bit of a fluffier medium weight number four yarn. To me, it's more of a four and a half, five, but that's just me. If you don't have any of this on hand, any medium weight number four yarn will work. You're going to need about five ounces, and that measures out to approximately, let me look on here, 236 yards, okay? I just used one of these, and I made the blanket and the little stuffy heart both, and I actually had a little bit left over as well. That's five ounces of any medium weight number four yarn or just one of these Ogos if you have one on hand. I know I bought a bunch when they went on clearance and so I want to use those up because remember I'm trying to use up the yarn in my yarn stash. We're going to be stitching today with an eye hook which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You need a needle just for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. We're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain 53 chains. I do recommend that you don't stitch this chain too tightly or the bottom of your lovey might pucker up a little bit on you. All right, so let's just loosely chain 53 chains. I have chained 53 chains, a little bit loose. And we're going to begin by stitching a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Now we don't count the loop on our hook, so one, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over and go through the second two. Now we're going to be stitching a row of double crochets. And be sure and count this chain three here as your first double crochet and then the double crochet that we stitched as your next one. And then we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the chains working all the way across our row. One double crochet in each of the chains. 
I have stitched one double crochet in each of my chains and again we started in the fourth chain from the hook and we count this chain three here as our first double crochet. So you're going to have 51 double crochets. We're going to chain three and turn our work. Now this chain three will count as your first double crochet on every row. And so what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet in the next double crochet and then the next. And that will give us three double crochets at the beginning of our row. Now we're going, we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next two double crochets. And in this next stitch, we're going to stitch a two double crochet cluster. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and only go through the first two loops. Yarn over, go in that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and only go through the first two loops. Now it looks like we have two unfinished double crochets and an extra loop. So we're gonna yarn over and go through all three of those loops and chain one. And now we're going to repeat this in this same stitch. and chain one. So now we've stitched a two double crochet cluster, chain one, and two double crochet cluster in that same stitch. We chained one, we're going to skip the next two stitches, and then we're going to double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three, and chain one. And this is going to be our repeat across. Chain one, skip two, and we'll stitch those two double crochet clusters. In the next, chain one and another set of two double crochet clusters. In that stitch. And chain one, oops, there we go. Skip the next two and stitch one double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Chain one and see how that repeat works. Some more yarn out here. We've chained one, skip two, and we're going to do those two double crochet clusters. chain one and another set of two double crochet clusters in that same stitch and chain one and we'll continue to repeat this all the way across our row. So I have repeated this across. We've three double crochets, chain one, our two sets of two double crochet cluster with chain one in between, chain one, and repeat all the way across. And what you're going to end up with is seven sets of three double crochets and six sets of our two double crochet clusters, chain one, two double crochet cluster. All right, and that's the way that it should look after row two. All right, so I'm going to chain three and we're going to turn our work. And now what we're going to do is again, Remember our chain three at the beginning of each row counts as our first double crochet. So I'm going to double crochet in the next two double crochets. We're going to chain one, and then we're gonna go right to this chain one space between those two double crochet cluster sets. And we're going to stitch the same thing. So we'll stitch two double crochet cluster chain one and two double crochet cluster right in that chain one space. And chain one. And what this does is it makes it look like we're stitching hearts. Isn't that cute? All right, so then we go to the next set of three double crochets and we stitch one double crochet in each of those three. 
adjustment again, chain one. Then we go to the next chain one space and do the same thing we did on the other one. Two double crochet cluster, chain one, and two double crochet cluster. And chain one, we go right to the next double crochet and we stitch one double crochet in those three double crochets. And chain one. And so I think you can see how the pattern works. We're going to stitch a double crochet in each of the double crochets. We'll chain one, then we'll stitch the two double crochet cluster, chain one, two double crochet cluster in the chain one space from the previous row. Then we'll chain one and repeat all the way across our row. So I have completed row three. We chained three, counted as our first double crochet, we double crocheted in the next two double crochets. We chained one, then we did our two double crochet cluster, chain one and two double crochet cluster in the chain one space from the previous row chain one, and then repeat all the way across our row. And so again, you have one, two, three, four, five, six of our two double crochet cluster, chain one, two double crochet clusters, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of three double crochets. All right, I think you can see now how easy this pattern is. I've gone ahead and chained three, so we'll turn our work and we'll get started on row four. Row four is basically a repeat of row three. We chain three, we double crochet in the next two stitches, chain one, we do those two double crochet clusters in the chain one space, chain one, and then a second, two double crochet cluster in that same chain one space. And chain one. And then we just repeat one double crochet in the next three double crochets. chain one, and then we repeat the two double crochet cluster, chain one, and two double crochet cluster, again stitching in that chain one space. Some more yarn out here. All right, and so again, we're just repeating across those three double crochets, chain one, and then our two double crochet cluster, chain one, two double crochet cluster, chain one. And we're repeating this all the way across just like we did for row three. So now we have completed row four. And row four is exactly like row three. And so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat row four for 19 more rows. You'll do them exactly the same, chain three, one double crochet in the next two, chain one, our two double crochet cluster, chain one, two double crochet cluster in the chain one space, chain one, one double crochet in the next three, and you'll repeat this all the way across, and you'll repeat row four for 19 more rows, or more if you're making your blanket bigger. Repeating it for 19 more rows is going to give you that blanket that is 18 by 18 inches in the lovey size. So here is my actual lovely lovey blanket. And you can see these rows here where we've done the double crochet cluster, chain one double crochet cluster, where they look like hearts. Isn't that cute? And then of course we have our three double crochets in between to help those hearts stand out. And I think it looks gorgeous with this yarn as well. All right, so at this point you should have 19 rows added, which will give you a total of 23 rows completed. If again, you're doing 
the same size blanket that I did. So I have my demo swatch with me now. I put my uh, actual blanket over to the side and once you have completed all the rows that you want, of course I just got four rows here, but you're going to have that 23 rows or more. Once you've completed all your rows that you want, we're just going to chain one instead of chaining three. And that's because we're going to do a solid row of single crochet around all four sides of our blanket. All right, and when you're working down the sides, you're going to try your best to get in the sides of those stitches and not in the holes. Because we do have those spaces there and we want to make sure that we get a nice even row of single crochets. And we'll go all the way around all four sides of our blanket. When we get to the corners, let me get down here on this swatch here. Oops. There we go. When you get to the corner, you're going to place three single crochets in each of those corners. And that just helps it go around the corner nice and neatly so that you get a nice smooth corner there. All right. And so for this row, we're just stitching single crochets evenly around all four sides of our blanket, no matter the size, and stitching three single crochets in each of those corners. And that's just going to help it lay pretty as it moves around those corners. Once you have single crocheted evenly all the way around all four sides of your blanket and placed your three single crochets in each corner as you went, here's my last one. I'm going to join to that first single crochet and chain one. And now I'm going to show you how we add that simple trim that we put on the shell trim around the edge of our blanket. It's similar to what we've been doing, but not exactly the same. So you're going to single crochet in this first stitch. You're going to skip two single crochets. And then in the next one, you're going to stitch two double crochets, not a double crochet cluster, but two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So it's similar, only we're stitching full double crochets and not the two double crochet cluster. And that's because we want it to fan out, okay? Then we're going to skip two single crochets and we're going to single crochet in the next. All right, and we'll do this all the way around. You'll skip the next two and you'll do this even going around the corners. You'll stitch two double crochets. Get in there. <laughs> wants to jump out of my hook. All right, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets in the same single crochet. <laughs> You'll skip two single crochets and then single crochet in the next. Skip two single crochets and then we'll stitch that shell stitch. Two double crochets, chain one, <laughs> and two double crochets. And you'll do this working all the way around the edge of your blanket. And this will just give it a nice edge that resembles what we've been doing in our blanket, but not exactly the same. And you just move all the way around. You don't stop at the corners or anything. And you just keep going until you've reached back to that first double crochet. So I have now completed my lovey blanket. I have that nice shell stitch all the way around. And it doesn't match perfectly, but it matches close so that it has a nice tie in with our double crochet clusters. Even though these are similar, they fan out and look beautiful on this blanket. And I really love the way that it ends. Now I did want to mention we added this single crochet row evenly all the way around so we didn't have a set number of stitches. So when we added our shell stitch trim, 
you may not end up exactly perfect at the end. I ended up with just one single crochet to skip, but I went ahead and joined to that first single crochet where we started. It's okay if you have to skip two or one or maybe none. It's as long as it just lays pretty and moves smoothly around that last edge. That happens sometimes when you're doing a blanket. All right, and so this is our lovely, lovey blanket. You can add the heart to it. You can attach it to a corner. You could attach it to the center, or you could just toss it in there along with your gift as just a little toy for the baby or the kiddo or even adult to have along with it. It just makes a really fun gift. Great last minute shower or baby or child gift. And remember, I added the pattern for the heart. I put that link down in the notes under the video. You'll find the written pattern with pictures for this as well in that link under the video. And you can find both of those in that description box underneath this video.